Well, happy 1st of July, so today I decided to do a 4th of July inspired video since 4th of July is on this Friday. So the first thing I am doing is applying a BB cream to my face because it seems like it's summer and it just lasts longer, I think, without having caked on makeup. Then after that, I take my Wet n Wild concealer stick and apply that under my eyes just to make my dark circles go away because they're just annoying. And then after that, I take my CoverGirl press powder and apply it to my face. And if I look really, really tired in this video, it's because I just woke up literally like... 10 minutes ago within filming this video and yeah it was probably a bad idea and next I'm taking my NYX bronzer and applying that to my cheekbones and my temples next I'm just taking a brow powder and filling them in with my forever 21 brush and yeah just filming them like they usually do The next thing got cut out and it was just me applying white shadow base in because I filmed it but it was like facing my mouth so I decided I'm like that's not helpful at all so I just cut it out and now I'm just adding blues in to the corner of my eye with my finger because I lost my brushes don't know what happened to them so I just use my finger from now on and if you see me talking throughout this video I wasn't trying to tell you what I was doing I just was talking to my friend when I was doing this so hope that makes sense. <laughs> And the closer I get to the corner of my eye, I just added more blues in to make it more of a darker and more noticeable look. Next, I'm just applying a really thin coat of eye liquid eyeliner above my lashes. Now I'm just taking my eyelash curler and curling my eyelashes. And then applying my new mascara I received, it was the Rummel London Scandalous Eye Curve. And let me just say, this mascara is so amazing. I just said in my last video that I change mascaras all the time. This is my favorite mascara of today. Or the week, I don't know. <laughs> and next, I'm taking this really bold red lipstick, which I decided when I was doing the outfits that it was too bright, so I just kind of wiped most of it off, but it still was on there. And next, I'm taking this the white shadow base from NYX and a little brush and applying little stars to my face and I don't know just it's more fun I guess I don't even know how to explain it but I just did it on one side of my eye I didn't do it on the other so I just draw I think five stars maybe four I'm not sure exactly for my hair for this video I decided to leave it natural because I didn't really want to go all out if you're especially if you're going to the beach for fourth of July you don't want to like curly for my top, I am wearing a white crop top from Wet Seal for $7.50. And for my shorts, there are blue high-waisted shorts I got from Forever 21 for $15.80. And then my necklace is a necklace from Glitter for a dollar. And I also paired them with 4th of July sunglasses that I received from Forever 21 for $5.80. For the next outfit, I'm wearing this black turtleneck crop top from Rue 21 for $10 and this blue skater skirt from Forever 21 for $8.80. And I'm also wearing the same red necklace, so I thought this was very cute and dressy, but not too dressy. For the next outfit, I am wearing this crop top that I got from Rue 21, which is also a part of a deal, so it was only $2 for this shirt. And it also has some reds and blues, so I thought it was perfect for our 4th of July. And I'm also wearing the same shorts that I wore in the other outfit. And they're the blue ones from Forever 21. And I also kept the same necklace on from Glitter. I hope you guys enjoyed this 4th of July makeup and outfit ideas. And if you guys did, make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram and Twitter at CJWalker735. There is a giveaway going on there. So make sure you guys go check it out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.